Incoming transmission. Greetings, folks. Irish Trekkie back another Star Trek Discovery, the official Starship's collection from Hero Collector. And I am delighted that we have the Klingon D7 class battlecruiser from Star Trek Discovery in front of us as well. I remember the collective gasp when we saw the hologram off this ship uh, in Discovery and then to see it fleshed out with uh, Chancellor Laurel um, was pretty cool as well. So I'm really looking forward to kind of diving into uh, the detail across these models. Um, big fan of the Discovery collection. The ships in the collection have been absolutely stunning. And uh, yeah, I um, really can't wait to uh, see what goodies lay inside. Um, before we dive in though, I want to give a big shout out to Hero Collector for sending this model over uh, to me. Gives me the opportunity to do reviews for you fine folks. And again, all of this wouldn't be possible without your support initially as well. So you folks are the heroes uh, of this collection for sure. Um, yeah, that, that was kind of a naff pun, but... I stand by it. I do stand by it. You're awesome. Um, and as well as that, you know, just taking the time out of your day to stop by, check out these videos and uh, supporting over on Patreon as well. We're going to give an awesome nod to those fine people in a moment as well. So stay tuned for uh, up close unbox of this model and we'll see what goodies lay inside the magazine and uh, we'll compare the D7 to some similar uh craft in the star trek universe as well just to kind of get a sense of scale and uh comparison as well sure why not so uh yeah let's dive in shall we before we dive into the video today i want to give a massive shout out to the patreon supporters for the channel your support on a monthly basis is absolutely outstanding and uh, gives me the opportunity to continually revise and improve the channel my techniques and skill as well and uh, again thank you very much for um, supporting as you do so again credit to each and every single freaking one of you people um, if you want to become a patron don't forget the links are in the description down below and uh, again I hope you enjoyed the video today so let's get on with that shall we so let's get inside the box shall we front graphic looks pretty awesome as usual so we have our smaller size discovery magazine with a wing of D7s. I'll put that over here. Ooh, nice bold green. And we have 0082A slash A Klingon D7 class battle cruiser. And our mount. So, in typical Klingon fashion, because she's aft heavy, these are generally aft mounted as well oh, get in there she's a little bit wobbly i'll have to focus on that a little bit later on but let's grab onto this fortified neck Ooh, surprisingly light actually um die cast plastic uh, i would have thought it would mean heavier but there you go so there is our first look at our discovery d7 in all our Klingon glory. Ooh, look at those nacelles. So, let's uh, get up close and personal, even more so, shall we? So here we go. Again, the anatomy is all there for um, a D7. And I'm gonna top of the elephant in the room. Yes, the Klingon designs for Discovery have been devices. I, for one, like them. Again, to like something is completely subjective. No one is right, no one is wrong. Everything just is, but, I know a lot of people do like this because it harks back to the uh, D7s off your Katinga and so on and so forth as well that uh, we've all come to enjoy over the many years of Trek. So um, looking at the command module, a lot of familiar architecture there as well. Some nice detailing. Paint alignments look pretty nice. And again, it's quite a bold uh, paint application. Kind of reminds me of a slightly darker... Um, JJ Universe uh, paint scheme as well. The lighter white, uh, the lighter white, even, the lighter green kind of marking out some of the panel detailing in here as well. So again, the bridge module, 
Floats on Torpedo Bank. Again, your command module here as well. So nice small decals. Very, very tiny, tiny emblems, I think, in there. I'll have to zoom in and post. And some nice architecture overall here as well. So going down the neck, you can see the it's almost kind of like a snake a hood, like a cobra hood, kind of fanning out just to kind of support that as well, which is quite nice. And again, going down into the drive section over here as well, you can see that distinctive Klingon feathering paneling here as well, which is quite nice. And, uh, ooh, quite nice detailing on the aft there. Honeycomb design on the uh, impulse drive. You have your aft torpedo bank and you have uh, your Klingon emblem there as well. And again, a big, bold and beautiful Klingon emblem just on the ventral section here as well in the drive surrounded by nice circular motif again more feather paneling down there as well and again we have detailing just on the front of here as well so again accented by nice detailing paneling on the sculpts with some nice paint accents over here as well and again interesting kind of color oops I'm hitting the camera there interesting color difference between the nacelles it kind of goes in line with this honeycomb aspect as well I, I don't like was that on screen like that they kind of look a little bit odd on the color front i kind of i would have preferred actually i would have preferred the klingon color to be all like this but um having them the same um would have been my personal preference um, fantastic detailing on the nacelles again what i like about this is like the refinement of trek technology um a lot of this kind of detailing would disappear especially in tos again out of sight out of mind and um, kind of shows like it's more refined like look at old phones and stuff like that they're super sleek now whereas they used to be clunky not saying this is clunky but you can kind of see a lot more of the mechanisms involved in here as well some nice paint apps along the side so you have your bizarre collectors um, very interesting design a lot more detailed than I would have thought it would have been same on the inset of it as well it's lovely and I like this pattern again just kind of giving that sense of strength in the design of it I get very familiar design just with some modern flares on it there's a little bit of uh debris just there but that is cool i like it the paint paint for me um i would have kind of calmed down a little bit on the kind of paler paint apps here they just look a little bit especially they're not they're not too bad here and i think it's very nice over here where you have this slightly kind of worn textures here but it just looks a little too clunky over here it's kind of like doing a fine drawing and then doing a very thick outline for every part of it but yeah it's not too bad it's not too bad or maybe if it was like a, a like a shade less or a little bit more faded in so it's there but not as prominent I like the detail in here on the neck as well. Again, given that kind of almost like scale, like a dragon's neck or, you know, a snake or something like that. And again, some nice detail along here as well. It's pretty cool. Let's see what she's like on the stand, shall we? How awesome does that look on the turntable when you have it mounted? It has a great rake to the aft mount so it just sits up proud like it's kind of launching from the uh, mount but it sits pretty nice and um, class on to the aft drive section without any issue just like the similar uh actually some of the some of the other <laughs> klingon ships have popped off the stands if i remember correctly but um these clip on very well onto the craft itself but um she looks absolutely gorgeous on the stand as well um again just to jump back my only kind of quip would be on the um, the lighter kind of green paint lines across especially the the front of the ship 
and just the difference in the color their personal preferences um the sculpt i think is lovely uh between the two um nacelles and the overall body of the ship but let's uh compare to some of uh, the other klingon ships that we've had in the past just get a sense of scale and connected lineage as well so here we have the discovery d7 we have the original series d7 and we also have the katinga in there for good measure it's as you say it's kind of like a combination of both of these ships with a few modern flares to it as well but um do you know like these are definitely off the same family which is a great uh, success in the design of it as well great to see that being added into discovery and um again i think uh, denning and schneider did a great job on um bringing this from an idea to um a completed project for us to enjoy on screen and now in the comfort of our own homes as well you can see some of the similarities in the katinga and uh, the d7 over here as well um but again it's just that remarkable profile to kind of blend the two of them together as well now that kind of split over here as well um i don't have it out but do check out the jj um klingon uh, cruiser as well that was designed by john ease as well there's again some similarity um in that uh, aspect as well again links are in the description box below for that that was a special uh that was released by uh hero collector as well so let me know in the comments below what do you think of uh the discovery d7 and does it fit well in the overall design kind of connective tissue between tos discovery and the movies and beyond as well um that's what the that's what the comments a box is for <laughs> sound off down there as i lose my train of thought i don't know where i'm going right now but anyway uh let's move on with the video shall we so issue 26 we have the d7 battlecruiser so this is a warship klingon big surprise 2257 length 503.53 meters of course it has to be you have your two sections um profile off the battlecruiser and designing the ship and again, you have some nice close-up shots of the craft as well. So, like when I look at this paint versus the practical model, it's far more muted. Um, I do see slight differences in the nacelles versus the body of it. But, like, this detailing looks far neater and more precise than, I think, what we got on the model itself. model's good, but um, I would have preferred this kind of more muted colour tone. Uh, just a little bit more vibrant for me um and like when you look here that's the kind of vibe i was talking about um in relation to the paint apps as well didn't really see that detailing on the uh, dorsal side of the nacelles um which is kind of cool actually so i remember again people uh, including myself going, oh my God, there's a D7 on the screen. Will we ever see it? Um, so you have concept artist Ryan Denning and Scott Schneider uh, work together to bring the classic Klingon battlecruiser into the Discovery era. Imagine the pressure on those guys. Oh my God. <laughs> they knocked it out of the park though, uh, for sure. And uh, these two, they're the biggest gents that you'll, you'll ever meet as well. Um, so fantastic that they were involved um in trek to make something like this uh hit the screen oh it's so cool and um yeah we did get to see her in screen as well so obviously we would have seen the initial hologram version in the um the the chambers on uh, chronos but um again they had the ability to refine the sketch and the model as well because we did see it in space as well and um, it was great to see it just kind of emerging from the cloak as well. So, so good. Um, so here you have, again, some references taken from um, previous uh, Klingon craft as well. Bringing over some of the detailing here that we mentioned about from like the movies and beyond. Again, everything kind of was very clean 
and simple in a good way in TOS, but to kind of have that connected tissue in here um, has been fantastic. And again, when you're looking at some of the previous designs off the ships as well, really, really awesome. And um, just, just take that in. Look at, look at these shots. That's just awesome. <laughs> it's really, really good. I think I'm jumping the gun in uh, the reviews for Discover because we will be doing the uh, Section 31 drone ship very, very soon. Coming up, we're going to be having the USS Zimmerman, the Tug. And uh, we have some fantastic ships coming from the Discovery collection as well. So uh, let's close out on the back graphic of this magazine, shall we? So folks, that wraps up today's video of the Star Trek Discovery Klingon D7 Battlecruiser as seen in Star Trek Discovery. This is issue 26 of the Discovery Collection from Hero Collector. And thanks for taking the time out of your day to stop by and check out the review. Um, you'll also find previous reviews in the description box of the video as well, where you'll find the playlists for the regular collection, Excels, as well as the Discovery, Battlestar Galactica, Aliens, and more. So uh, hopefully you enjoy those videos. So again, thanks for taking the time out of your day to stop by, and uh, your support is greatly appreciated. Um, if you're new to the channel, why not hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date with all of the up and coming reviews coming your way. I've been your local Irish Trekkie. Stay safe, stay connected, and I uh, hope you have a great rest of the day, weekend, or week, whenever you're watching this. And I will see you in the next video. So take it easy, and goodbye.